There we go. Okay. After some fidgeting around, I have no clue what was going on. But now it appears to be working. Hello and welcome, it's Bushwacka here. And today we are playing a very new game that I am extremely excited about called Stationeers. This game is kind of a blend between Minecraft, Space Station 13, and uh, Space Engineers. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to do a brand new world. It looks like we have uh, landed here. So I have played this game a little bit and I kind of know what we need to do. So on today's video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get all of your power set up. Power is really one of the most important aspects of the early game. Um, if the, Let me open up my helmet here or sorry my suit and I have you have a life support battery and I find that that is the piece of equipment that really drains the fastest so we need to have the ability to charge that so we're gonna go ahead and uh, look through our supplies here so this construction supplies to crate we're gonna not gonna need that quite yet organic supplies there's just a bunch of food and stuff in here that we don't need quite yet so it must be this last box here let's open it up yeah this has all of our construction supplies so we're gonna go ahead and just move this box over to the side now as I throw a duct tape at it oh, drop yeah the controls to this game definitely take a little getting used to there we go okay got our duct tape okay as I throw stuff all over the place here we go so, um, in order to build, uh, we're going to start out with the solar panel. In order to place that down, we're going to need to place it on something. So we're going to go ahead and place it on some frames here. So we'll build the frames. And we want them to be a little, a little high, just so it's out of the way of um, when we actually go to build our base. So let's see. So I think we will build our station probably right right here this seems to be pretty level ground so we'll go ahead and we're gonna build our solar panel right on top of uh, this block here so we can go ahead and we can put these frames down if I can figure out how to do that there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and finish building this frame for that we're gonna need our welding torch Okay, we'll turn this guy on and we'll finish this up okay because we're on a moon with no atmosphere that means we're not going to be able to hear anything until we build a space that we can pressurize um, obviously sound moves in waves through something and if there's nothing for it to go through then there will be no sound okay so we're gonna go ahead so we built that now we need our solar panel kit if I can figure out how to do this here we go and we're gonna place it on top of here okay so we're gonna go ahead and place this down and our stations gonna be placed over here so we'll let the power outlet go towards that direction now to finish off the solar panels we do need to put like the glass on top of it so you just grab the glass and you can just throw it up there we go so now we're generating 0 0.04 milliwatts of power which I that's probably glitching um, because there's zero percent visibility to the Sun and uh, they did a really good job I mean if part of your building covers the solar panel or even if you jump on top of the solar panel it will calculate exactly how much sun it can see and generate exactly that much power. Now I believe in full, full sunlight that thing should generate around 500 watts of electricity which is more than enough to power all of our equipment. Okay so now we need to go ahead and hook this thing up so let's grab some wire here. I'm gonna take this wire and we're gonna place it down can figure out how to manage this. So here we go. Okay, this is coming down. 
and we're just making this nice and easy for us to hook in our uh, APC. So that's an area power controller. So uh, a lot of uh, businesses and stuff will use something very similar to that. So then if they lose electricity for a little bit, or if they lose power, then uh, they're, all the computers and stuff won't shut down right away. A lot of the times it will give, uh, actually, quite a long time before they'll shut down. So let's go ahead. We'll put our area power control here. Now I did this last time, and for some reason it I think it was on backwards. I don't know if the labels are backwards or something, but we will see here. So then we'll need our crowbar to go ahead and oh pry this guy open. There we go. Yeah, that's upside down. I think it's supposed to be the other way. So let's go ahead. We'll just tear it down. Okay. So now we got that, and we're going to go ahead and open it up again. Okay, the sun is starting to come out, so let's go ahead. We need to grab a battery, which we have one right here. We can go ahead and chuck that battery in here, and we can turn this guy on. Area power control. I think that means it's on. Maybe that means it's on. Okay, let's wait. So the sun is starting to come up. We're generating no power, but any minute here, we should be getting some. Now you do the, have the ability to go up here and change how it tilts, and you can even set up a computer to make it uh, kind of track the sun during the day, but unfortunately because we're very early game right now, um, we don't have all the equipment to do that, so we're just going to have to let it run just facing straight up. I think that's probably going to be the best way to do it for now. Uh, maybe a little later I'll put one facing like east and one facing west and one facing directly up. But So sun is really starting to come up. I bet we'll be seeing some power any second now. Okay, we're starting to see some power but it's not flashing or anything. Okay, so this must be upside down. Okay, so let's just go ahead and grab this battery real quick. Throw it somewhere in our suit. Uh, last time I set this up, I swear it was the other way around. Grab our crowbar. Close that up. We'll go ahead and tear this down. Okay, now we can grab it. And we will, I guess, flip it around. Okay, now let's go ahead and open it up again. And we should be able to throw it on at this point. I guess you must need a battery in there, so let's go ahead and find that battery. Here we go. And throw it in there. What is going on? Huh, that does not appear to be doing anything. There we go, okay. After some fidgeting around, I have no clue what was going on, but now it appears to be working. So red means there's no battery in here, but I believe that that means it's getting power. So we'll put this battery in here, and there we go. Blue and green must mean it's charging here. So It is upside down, but it doesn't really matter because we're not going to be looking at it much. So let's go ahead and close this guy up. Okay, so now that means that we're going to get power from the sun all day long. Just during the day, though, and I guess just during the time that uh, the solar panel sees that sun. So that electricity is going to come into this area power controller here and charge up that battery. Now, it can charge up that battery and it can power things at the same time. So we're going to go ahead, and because batteries really are the most important thing, we're going to put a battery charger here. Now, you could just put batteries in here and let them charge and then grab them and take them out, but... A kind of that would take a bit of time so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually grab the battery charger here and this guy right here so we're gonna have to redo a little bit of our wiring here there we go so now we can go ahead and put our stuff back in our belt here and we should be able to turn this on there we go and it lights up green which means it's on so now 
we only do have that one battery in our crates here. You can look around, yeah, there are no other batteries, but it turns out that your player has a lot of kind of hidden batteries. So um, we may use our drill some, but we may not use this angle grinder. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the battery out of our angle grinder and we can go ahead and just throw it in there. So now that battery is charging and it's actually fully charged right now. But I can show you our uh, life support batteries at medium right now. So we'll go ahead and take the small battery and we'll switch it out. Now it is has a high charge. We'll put that in there and that'll continue to charge. Now I don't know if we can tell. It doesn't really have a status if it's charging or what, but so now this is blue and red, which probably means there's yeah, there's very low power. Okay, now as you can see, this is pretty simple and we're definitely going to be adding on to our base even more. Now this is definitely something you're going to need to have working because if your life support battery drains all the way down, you're definitely going to have some issues. So uh, that's why it was the first thing I chose to build. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, go ahead and leave it in the comments. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If there are any other videos you'd like to see, you can go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. Thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.